Today, we're going to explore the depths of the mysterious and enigmatic space marine chapter, the Carcharodons, also known as the Carcharodons Astra in High Gothic and sometimes as the Space Sharks in Low Gothic. This chapter has forged for itself a dark and bloody legend in the minds of those that survived their savage intervention in the Badab War. So grab your coffee, sit by the fireplace, and accompany me in this story. The Carcharodons are a fleet-based chapter, following the rare nomad predation pattern rather than the more common crusading pattern adopted by countless other mobile space marine chapters. This means that they operate far from the Imperium's borders, hunting down the enemies of mankind in the outer darkness of the galaxy. They rarely interact with other Imperial forces, and their origins and history are shrouded in mystery. Some claim that the Karsharadons are an ancient chapter, born as early as the Second Founding, while others suggest that they are a relatively new chapter, raised during the 23rd Founding. Some even speculate that they are a renegade chapter, exiled from the Imperium for some unknown crime. However, the most widely accepted theory is that they are a successor chapter of the Raven Guard, sharing their gene seed and their Primarch Corvus Corax. The Carcharodons have a distinctive appearance and culture, influenced by their long isolation and harsh lifestyle. Their armor is painted in shades of gray, with red accents and shark-like motifs. Their skin is pale, and their eyes are black, a result of their prolonged exposure to the void. Their language is a mix of High Gothic and ancient dialects, incomprehensible to most outsiders. Their combat style is brutal and efficient, favoring close quarters combat and stealth. They fight in complete, eerie silence, adding to their fearsome reputation. The Kacharodans are led by their chapter master or shade lord, Tiberos the Red Wake, a giant even for an Astartes, who wields twin artifact gauntlet weapons, hunger and slake. He is also the shipmaster of the fabled battle barge, Nikor, and the company master of the elite First Company, better known as the Red Brethren. Tiberos is a silent and imposing presence whose pronouncements are always final. He often leads his Brethren Terminators in bloody assaults, carving a path of mangled corpses through the enemy ranks. The Carcharodons are best known for their role in the Badab War, a conflict that erupted in the Maelstrom Zone in the late 41st millennium, when several Space Marine chapters rebelled against the Imperium. They arrived without warning in the War Zone, offering their cooperation to the Loyalist forces. They presented their notices patent, affirming their rights and titles issued by several High Lords of Terror and Inquisitors long dead. They also submitted to psychic probing and gene sampling to verify their identity and loyalty. The Loyalist commanders, although wary of the Kacharodons, accepted their aid, knowing that Sucha Force would prove invaluable in bringing the war to a swift and absolute conclusion. They proved to be a devastating weapon, unleashing their fury on the secessionist forces, especially the Mantis warriors a chapter that had adopted guerrilla tactics and hit-and-run raids. The Karkarodans systematically ravaged every planet in the Maelstrom Zone that had harbored the Mantis warriors in the past, forcing them to abandon their stealthy approach and face them in open battle. The Karkarodon's most infamous deed was the massacre of the planet Grief a former Mantis warrior stronghold that had been evacuated by the secessionists. They ignored the evacuation order and slaughtered the remaining population, mostly civilians and non-combatants. They also harvested new recruits from the planet, taking young boys as aspirants for their chapter. This brutal act earned them the hatred of the Mantis warriors and the distrust of the other loyalist forces. 
The Kacharodon's involvement in the Badab War ended with the final siege of Badab Primaris, the capital world of the secessionists. They spearheaded the assault on the planet, breaking through the orbital defenses and landing on the surface. They fought their way to the Palace of Thorns, the fortress of the rebel leader Luft Huron, also known as the Tyrant of Badab. There, they faced the Astral Claws, Huron's personal chapter in a fierce and bloody battle. They managed to breach the palace gates, but were unable to reach Huron himself, who escaped into the depths of the palace. The Badib War was finally over, and the Kekarodons were rewarded for their service. They were granted the Mantis Warrior's former homeworld of Uthaka, a feral world rich in potential recruits. They also ransacked the Mantis Warriors' hidden armories and bases, replenishing their supplies and equipment. The Kacharodans then departed from the Maelstrom Zone, embarking again on their solitary crusade. They left behind a trail of blood and terror, a grim reminder of their existence and their loyalty to the Imperium. The Karkaradons are one of the most mysterious and feared space marine chapters in the Warhammer 40k universe. Their origins, history and motives are unknown, but their deeds are legendary. They are the Void Hunters, the Space Sharks, the Kacharodons. I hope you enjoyed learning about Kacharodons and that you found it informative and interesting. If you did, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel for more Warhammer 40k lore and history videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.